Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my over the wire bandit uh, war game walkthrough tutorial uh, series where I'm gonna go through every single stage on this war game and um, sort of aim to to go through them super super thoroughly um, really try and make sure that I don't assume too much knowledge so that anyone that hasn't really got any experience at all can learn the way I did which was trying to really flesh it out and make sure I understood things properly before I moved on um, I'm Dean by the way uh, I'm very new to this uh, sort of hacking CTF space myself but I really enjoy the community and and I think it would really do me good to try and put some content out there practice sort of speaking and making these kind of tutorial things uh, yeah to, to sort of help me understand further and and to give back to this community because I've learned so much in quite a short space of time because there's just such good resources out there um, something like Bandit was just really helpful and made things really fun and engaging and a, a just a nice way to learn these new skills and ideas so yeah so hopefully you know anyone someone that's super new will get something out of this I hope um, and if if it works and I find that this is useful and I'll definitely make another one for Natas and the other the other war games on the site uh, I'm not like I said, this is very new to me too, so hopefully I, I, I stick as... I'm going to try to stick to what I know and not say anything that's just completely wrong. Um, so, But forgive me if I do say something a little bit incorrect, but um, I will try my best not to. Um, just to let you know, I'm going to be using Kali Linux for this. I would suggest, if you're new to Linux, to, to either make a virtual machine um, or just move on to Linux um, partly because this is all about learning Linux and I think the best way to learn is just to like get your like get your feet wet just get in there and and start learning by doing uh, at least that's the best way that I've found it really helped me just to just to sort of submerge myself in it and um, yeah it just makes it a bit more uh, embeds the knowledge a bit better I would say so I'm going to be doing it from Kali Linux um, and I guess that's all I really need to say we're going to go through everything very thoroughly um, so the game sort of amps up very slowly uh, it's really good for beginners in that way there's quite a few st stages as you can see uh, and I'm going to try and go through all the tools and things we use uh, sort of nice and slowly so it doesn't confuse anyone I guess I should just say yeah a couple of things first of all we're gonna we're gonna use man pages a lot in Linux so if I open up a terminal which we need to be really familiar we're gonna be very familiar with a terminal by the end of this um, opening up a terminal by the way is control alt and T on my on my keyboard but it might be um, might be different for you but that's that's what it is for me uh, if if you want a quick shortcut uh, here we can type in loads of commands and and interact with the uh, the operating system of our machine it's super simple and really direct and really powerful and yeah over the wires bandit is just a really good way to to get some practice with this and to start to learn uh, all the commands and the ways we use them so what I would like to say is that we're going to use the man pages a lot. Now the man or manual pages for a command is it's just sort of a brief or it's just a description of how to use that particular command and it, they're really helpful if you use them alongside with other resources um, to learn each command. So for instance for telnet we can just man telnet and uh, and it comes up with this nice set of information about that particular command. It gives us a description. There's a bit of a um, 
sort of a cryptic looking synopsis here but as you get more familiar with these pages you'll start to understand how to to read these a little bit better and it also gives you uh, a description of each of the flags that you can use with that particular command now a flag is just uh, an extra parameter that you add to the command to alter its behavior in some particular way. Um, so telnet for instance is is a, uh, a program that lets you connect to a host, a remote host, and then send commands in plain text to that host to execute. So you can connect to a computer and then you can act as if you're at that computer by sending commands over a connection. Um, if you're not familiar with networking, that's that's all over, done over TCP, um, but, you, but you don't need to know that right now. Uh, anyway, so yes, yeah, so this is this is a man page. Like I say, you just write man and then the command. We're going to use this a lot. Some things don't have man pages, and then we'd have to use help, and then the command, and maybe we'll get something that way. But most of the things we're going to use are going to have man pages, and we'll get very familiar with using them. Okay, I think that's everything I'd like to say. I uh, hope you get something out of this, and I hope I manage to get something out of this too, and get a bit more familiar with talking like this. It's very strange for me, but we'll give it our best shot. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video where we start at level zero. Okay, thank you.